Okay, yeah. hi guys. This is Josh Newmark and David Burke from PlugMeInMusic.co.uk, and today we're going to be discussing the Beatles versus Led Zeppelin. Now, let's firstly, we're not trying to offend anyone here. If we've got any hardcore Led Zeppelin fans or any got hardcore Beatles fans either side, we're just trying to, you know, toss up the various how I said toss, uh, toss up the various benefits of each band and just you know thrash it out. Uh, for the sake of argument. Josh is going to take the position of Led Zeppelin. Not just for the sake of argument. <laughs> because he's a diehard, and yeah. I'm going to take the position of the Beatles because I have no strong feelings either way. Cool, man. Okay, so let's. I think the best way to start is on like a purely like what did the bands do for music as a whole, inspirational level. Okay. Well, I'd go with the classic Led Zeppelin wrote some of the most beautiful and amazing music of all time, if not the most beautiful and amazing music of all time, and produced several really, really brilliant albums that you can just listen to over and over again because and just be in awe every time. Um, they're all fantastic musicians and some of the best best musicians we've ever, the world's ever seen in their own right, in that, at their own instruments, and when you gel them together it just produces this sort of orgasm of amazing music. I said orgasm, David. Oh, God. Right, okay. Now, for the Beatles side, now, I'm not someone that would ever say that the Beatles were great musicians, and I'm not going to say that the Beatles um, were, you know, that sort of su that sort of powerhouse of playing that Zeppelin have, which is one of their greatest strengths. What I will say is that the Beatles have the revolution power behind them. They, I mean, it could have been any other band, but they were the band that single-handedly uh, turned music into a popular culture phenomenon and made music and effectively kick-started everything else. I mean, it's it's hard to it's hard to imagine where uh, most bands would have come from had it not been for the Beatles. I mean, uh, on the other hand, and they also have this sort of incredible power of writing and experimenting with music. I'm not going to go the whole opinion route and say they have several amazing albums that you can listen to over and over again. Because, well. Because yeah, that's opinion. I mean, there are some, there are some albums by them that just are like seminal albums, like Sgt. Pepper. Which, yeah, obvious, but still, Sgt. Pepper is arguably one of the first concept albums. It sort of introduced people to um, playing around with what pop music could be, and there's certainly a lot of cases for that. So. Um, it, it, I, I don't think it's even worth discussing which one wins on that. They're pretty. They, they both kind of have equal power and inspiration. Because I mean, most that's rock. That's good. That's the end of the debate then. <laughs> <laughs> that, that wasn't no. Because you know, like let's debate versus let's not debate. Okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> because it's like I can't just say, oh yeah, the Beatles are good, but yeah, you also just say, no, they suck balls. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I don't think they suck balls. I just like, as I said, Led Zeppelin are just really amazing musicians so I, I think that that's kind of the most important thing when you're talking about who which is a better the Beatles had that sort of revolutionary edge and they were you know the first band to just take the world by storm really and that kind of thing but that doesn't necessarily mean that they're the best band of all time because w w you're still you even that you, you still listen to their music and compare it to music that's come out since then like Led Zeppelin and other bands and it, it's better music, so I'd say it's, it, they, were just, mm. they were the earliest, but music can still but, have been improved. But on that. the other hand, it, I mean, if you're just going to go with, like, it's purely technical ability and nothing but, you might as well say, oh yeah, then uh, Yes must be the greatest band of all time, or King Crimson, or it's any or one of these progressive bands, or, or hell, why don't you just go back to classical music? If you're looking for purely technical ability, I think what the Beatles had was um, that ability to write pop songs. I mean, it's songs, yeah, it's songs that are just popular, and I mean, there's obviously, yeah, or yeah, if they're, if they're just popular, why don't you just listen to One Direction? I mean, that's a band that's popular. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But, um, the Beatles, at least, firstly, they wrote their own songs, which is sure. nowadays rare and <laughs> few and far between, yeah. but they do, there is something genuinely interesting about the way that they could uh, s very simply write a lot of songs, many of which would I mean, it, it sounds obvious, but so many of those songs just stick in people's heads. I mean, it's it's what built up the it built up the bedrock for most modern pop and rock. I mean, 
yeah, I mean, Led Zeppelin came from a different direction. If you ask any, like, uh, Led, if you ask most metal fans, they'll quote Zeppelin. If you ask most hard rock fans, they'll quote, yeah, Zeppelin, and like, the most important band. And mm. I can understand where people come from with that. But the the Beatles have this. Uh, they they have a different edge. It's it's more about um. Uh, they they because because they wrote the they wrote they effectively wrote the rules for what pop was. Yeah, but you can say that. But then with what you're saying with the metal fans quoting Zeppelin, you can say that Zeppelin kind of wrote the rules for rock and kind of um, introduced this like. Sometimes when I listen to some of the Beatles' later stuff, when they're trying to sort of expand into psychedelic rock, I get the feeling that they just kind of got bored of what they were doing early on and decided that they were now going to become hippies and that they didn't... And that kind of makes me feel like they didn't really have that much passion for what they were doing oh, early on. Oh, so, so you're saying... If it's you like, listen to they, Led they, Zeppelin, you can, well, it comes through in their writing. They, they just take so much time over... Over, over, over what they're writing. Like "Stairway to Heaven" took months, and months to come up with. I mean, I'm not saying it's the best song because it's, it's kind of boring. But <laughs> but when if you listen to some of their other songs, did they? Yeah, they. You just get the feeling that they've just put so much more passion into it, and really, and are just defining. And they've kind of laid down um, this this example of how 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 far a band can go in terms of like exploring the boundaries of music with all the different like weird tunings they used and that kind of thing. Mm. I just think they did a lot more. They 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 sort of pushed the boundaries a lot more than people kind of give them credit for. Yeah. Okay. Sure. But at the same time, I I, I mean, what you're saying is that the Beatles ju they kind of jumped on the bandwagon when a, whenever a fad rolled around. And I can see where you're coming from there as well. But if we move on to let's say let's let's move away from the inspiration factor because that's obviously one of the most important. But let's move on to something like. Um, like the breadth of their ideas, mm. for instance. I mean, the Beatles, they started as a sort of Mersey beat. Well, obviously they even came up with the Mersey beat, but it's sort of skiffly rock. Yeah. And, and from there on, they just changed so radically from the first album to Let It Be. They, they opened up into these sort of broad soundscapes and changed what you could do. Like they added, um, they added sort of brass music and they added uh, string sections, which was like completely unheard of at the time. And they had, uh, and at the t and at the same time, they had these great harmonies a lot of the time in their singing with nice melody. Mostly great the harmonies. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> no, I see what you mean, and I mean, I, ca I guess um, it kind of it depends what your kind of view is on that. Like, were they expanding their musical horizons or were they just kind of like I said get kind of getting bored and deciding hey let's be hippies Jimi Hendrix is a pretty like cool just dress, guy dressing up almost yeah which they did on the cover of the yeah. Sgt Pepper's album obviously. and it kind of makes you think yeah. of Lady Gaga <laughs> but you know um, I, I, and obviously for but to be for honest if, if you're talking yeah Led Zeppelin aren't exactly pot cooling the kettle black if you look at some of the stuff they used to wear yeah sure so Le Led Zeppelin they certainly opened up into lots of different ideas didn't they um yeah I mean definitely if you look at the difference between like Led Zeppelin 1 or, or just Led Zeppelin if you want to call it that um it, it's just kind of a lot of the song like communication breakdown is just a really standard sort of blues rock riff and I mean it's got like there are some really cool elements to that album like definitely like um Good times, bad you know, times. Yeah, dazed and confused. Like I, again, there's the amazing musicianship and all the like e exploration of of really good lyrics that um, that uh, Robert Plant comes up uh, comes up with. So if you look at some of their later <laughs> albums, like um, Physical Graffiti, they start to yeah definitely expand into some new kind of areas. Um, and it's still got the it's still, but the thing is, it still kind of keeps its um, foundations in that kind of blues rock. Kind of, um, like um, origins, but they start to use um, sort of elements of folk and more psychedelic ideas. Yeah, and you I know, just think they they they've really taken what they started with and then just just kind of explored it further instead of just changing it completely. Yeah. I mean, Kashmir uses a really some really clever timing. Like um, yeah. the dr the drums aren't playing the same time as the guitars, which is just a really cool idea. Um, uh, and then and then you get onto like the mi uh, sort of like the more minor details like on the one hand the Beatles are like the perfect pop group I mean you got four lads that all um, looked cool and and Beatlemania was obviously an example of that but uh, but at the same time you had these sort of 
Led Zeppelin, you've got these slightly more four kind of raunchy guys, long yeah. hair, uh, drank and smoked a lot of different things. Wore extremely tight trousers. Yeah, and, and you've got a different kind of fandom out yeah. of that. Yeah. And at the same time, you've got a lot more male fans, uh, people that, exactly, people that appreciated the musicianship. Mm. Where if, if it's I mean, kind of it kind of preempted the whole idea of people of I, like a load of guys sitting in a car listening to Metallica and smoking a joint. Or or that or, kind of was or, kind of or, or, idol, or idolizing yeah. a guitar like uh, or like a uh, me no, you might me. idolize a guitarist. And with the musicianship, I just like to point out the one major difference in the bands is their drummer because Led Zeppelin have possibly the best rock drummer of all time. Whereas and the Ringo Starr was effectively a monkey with sticks. <laughs> I would, yes. That's, that's <laughs> good. It's a good analogy. But uh, <laughs> I think I, we might as well wrap it up, to be honest, because there's no right answer with these debates. No. Uh, I just like to I mean, give you some uh, I mean, thought like, ideas about the two yeah. bands, and you know, because a lot of people seem to just kind of um, jump on one side or yeah, the other without actually thinking about the real the, the, the different elements there are within the argument. I mean, so we hope yeah. that because I've kind of been arguing more to do with technicalities, uh, the technicalities in the music, and David's been talking about, um, you know, the the effect that they have in society and that kind of thing, and I think it, you know, it's important yeah. to consider different... But, I mean, uh, what, what obviously you want to do is, uh, I, it's really bad in music when people split themselves into factions, like the whole, uh, you know, the whole, like, um, punks versus new romantics versus goths versus prog, whatever, it, it's not. Oh, it's, is it really okay to sit in one camp and just ignore whatever creative talent may be coming out of the others? Mm. I think it, in in this debate, Led Zeppelin versus Beatles, you should really be looking at both. 